Hey guys, Lost Gaming here, and today we're having a very interesting video. Before we begin with this very interesting video, please consider liking and subscribing if you're gonna enjoy this video. It's really gonna help me out because I'm just starting out, and it's really gonna show me a lot of support. So please consider doing that. I'm gonna really appreciate it. So now that we got that out of the way, let's begin. So as the title says, today I'm going to show you how you can make your membrane or mechanical keyboard sound like a different mechanical keyboard. So mechanical keyboards are super cool in my opinion, and they make a lot of sounds. They have a lot of benefits compared to membrane keyboards. But with the benefits, a price tag comes. And mechanical keyboards are usually expensive. They cost all the way from 50 to all the way to... Did I say all the way? They cost from 50 all the way to $400 if you want a good one that is actually going to fulfill your needs. And many people simply cannot afford a mechanical keyboard or don't want to buy one. So obviously this is not going to make your membrane keyboard feel like a mechanical keyboard. But what it is going to do, it's going to make it sound like a mechanical keyboard. Which is also a very good thing that comes with mechanical keyboards. Mechanical keyboards usually sound better than membrane keyboards. Some people prefer the silent and dull sound of memory keyboards but i know many people and me myself included uh that prefer the sound of mechanical keyboards and hold on <laughs> um yeah it's it's uh it's a bit different than memory keyboards that sound like this uh i have a memory keyboard which comes with my laptop and this is how it sounds and i am like i'm i'm hitting the keys hardly because they make almost no sound and if I uh, make uh, bring the mic closer to the keyboard yeah sounds pretty bad um so there are two ways to make this and this video is also inspired by gargles who is a youtuber that makes keyboard videos he makes tutorials um, reviews and he's a very cool guy his la his lang his channel is gonna be in the description down below and the first way which is the way he showed is called uh it's, it's a software called sound plant now this is pretty much a keyboard and you can assign different sounds to each key so there's always also here uh, a menu of different functions and right here down below so uh you have new key map you can pretty much create a new key map so let's let's do that uh you can also open recent key maps which is uh, i have one uh you can save a key map that you created and you have different preferences that you can edit, which I'm not going to do right now. Uh, you have a list of key map, launch another sound plan. Yeah, a bunch of features that are pretty straightforward. So right down here are also different um, sound features like volume, pan, reverb, things like that. I'm not going to touch that because this is not really important. It's important if you want to edit the sound a bit, but you can play with it. Not too important right now. This has a very big disadvantage compared to the other software. Right now, not many people release different sound packs for keyboards. If you go ahead and type, for example, uh, I don't know, let's go with Cherry MX Red uh, sound file or something like that, you're not going to find a file that has different sounds of the keys. And this is very unfortunate because if I don't like the, the, the sounds that are right now released, I cannot really do anything about it. And I hope that in the future, people are going to actually release sound. And well, apparently there are some sound samples, but yeah. So Gargles, in his video, he recorded his mechanical keyboard, which has NK cream switches. So we're going to do that right now. Uh, let's go to our downloads. And I downloaded the different sounds of the NK cream keyboard. So if I go and take the sound that A makes and I drag it to A, Every time I type A, I'm going to have that sound. And what you do is you pretty much drag all your sounds to all the different keys. That's going to take less than two minutes. Uh, what did I do? And this has backspace and space, all these different keys. Something that is pretty unfortunate is that there's no, there's no, uh, you cannot assign something for the caps lock key or the shift key or control key, windows key, and all these that are blank. Also, the backspace and escape key, for some reason, do not work, which is a bit weird. And, um, yeah, but you have that. And if you're just a basic typer and you don't do gaming or stuff that <laughs> include these keys pretty much, you cannot really do anything about it, which kind of sucks. Uh, you cannot really... <laughs> what did I say? 
if you're a regular typer that doesn't touch these keys, you're going to be fine. Uh, so, you can also drag files that are just like, you know, random sounds. So, if we go and we go to .mp3, and let's take Happier by, okay, no. Uh, so, let's take Fun, uh, Some Night by Fun, and we're going to drag it to the D key. This is a song. Every time we press D, this song is going to play. Uh, let's stop this. Alright, so yeah, you can do pretty fun stuff with it. You can make different songs and compositions if that's what you like. Although, I'm talking about mechanical keyboards. And you can make this, for example, a, drown, a drum sound, a piano sound, a violin sound, a snare sound, whatever. And you can really make an orchestra with this. But I'm not going to do that because I'm not a talented person and this is not the sake of the video. So, that's the, pretty much the, 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 the first app. And if you want to save, again, the, uh, the, the key map, you can do that. By the way, if, we, if you noticed, um, let's open a recent one that I made, that I not made, the recent one that I created. Yeah, I made. <laughs> so if we're going to open that, um, hold on, it's going to take some time. And we're going to go to a different app. And this app is going to run the background. You're going to see that it doesn't work. And let's wait just a second to demonstrate. And I want to show you how to make it work in games. Because obviously sitting like that in the app and typing is very fun. But, okay, so let's, let's put that off. Okay. And it works once we go to... Wait, how do we make it off? Hold on. <laughs> Great. So once we go to a different app, for instance, we go to a Google document. Uh, let's erase this and we type no sound so what you do is you go right here to this menu and in background key input which is right next to view mode and reverb unit you turn that on and the next time that you go to your favorite game that's the only game I play uh, and you type it's gonna work yeah so that's pretty neat so that's the first app we're gonna close that because it's gonna interfere with the other app so Let's go to the keyboard, uh, to this app. So this is a software called MetaKeys. I don't remember who the creator is, but it's a very cool app. It has a much more different uh, user interface. There's no keyboard. Uh, so there are different sections and different tabs. We're going to go over them. So this is just the developer updates, different uh, notes. This is a leaderboard. This is the different sound packs, uh, both keyboard and mouse, that you can download. These are the settings info and you can contact them too and an in-game store which you can pretty much buy keycaps to support the creator keycaps are the in-game currency used to download different sound packs now keycaps can be achieved either by buying them or by reaching different achievements so to pretty much activate these achievements you need to type a lot uh, and let's unmute that you need to type a lot and once you get a lot of keystrokes you're gonna get keycaps and you can uh, claim them by pressing this button unfortunately when i press that it says that it can't sing the keystrokes so that's unfortunate but nonetheless it's still cool and the way this works is it pretty much recognizes your keystrokes i if i remember correctly you need java to uh, run this app because java is the app that is recognizing your keystrokes Downloading Java is very quick. <laughs> it really doesn't take too much effort. So yeah. Um, and if you don't want to do that, then I'm sorry, but you can use uh, the other software. So every time it recognizes a keystroke, it's going to activate the sound for the key that you press. If I press space, it's going to make up <laughs> space. Oh my god, that's my brother. If you press space, it's going to activate the sound for space. If I press tab, it's going to activate the sound for tab. If I just type gonna activate the letters correspondently did I say correspond I don't know okay so uh, here you can find the different sound packs this is the default sound pack so when you download the software this is the cherry blues are the sounds and switches that you have so obviously you can buy the different ones and if you want to know how this sounds before getting them you can just click try this is the MacBook butterfly switches and there are a few fun ones Yeah. Um, and then you have cherry greens. 
Kale Box White, Spinner Max, Gateron Red, and Gateron Browns. Yeah. So, you also have mouse sound packs. So, the MacBook touchpad. Wait. Which is a bit weird. The diggly thing, which I'm pretty sure is the Minecraft uh, sound. Corsair. And mouse pop. Okay, I'm gonna equip the. Try this, I guess. Um, so, if you go to Artisan Keycaps, these are keycaps from the creator of Mecha Keys. Oh, Robolab is the creator of Mega Keys. Link in the description. So, uh, this is the Cherry MX Blues, and there are different other switches that you can get, uh, which I don't know which are which. And then you also have stickers, and you have more stickers, I guess. Then you have some settings, and that. So, yeah, if you don't, if you think it's too too loud, then you can just reduce the noise. If you think it's too low. Decrease the noise, you can unmute that. And there are also um, notifications, apparently. So yeah, and there's a huge difference between... And... Now, to, to make this work in the background, you don't need to do anything. You can just go in the background and make it work. And this is, in my opinion, better because there's also tab and caps lock and shift. But you cannot assign custom sounds that you choose yourself so you cannot assign music sounds or funny sounds you cannot make it so that every time you type fart sounds are played okay uh which is apparently a thing that people like to do uh not gonna lie i see the appeal for that so if you enjoyed this video please consider liking really gonna help me and just try it yeah i'm gonna leave all the links for the t stuff i talked about in the description and good luck trying that and if you want to make your membrane keyboard sound like a mechanical keyboard go ahead if you want to make your keys sound like farts go ahead if you want to play songs every time you type go ahead enjoy bye bye